football is so important. There is a, a healthy tension, great expectation building up here as we head towards kickoff. It's a bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a, a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. Notwithstanding that, there is a, a lovely backdrop here. The uh, ambience is good. There's a smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and the game will be underway very shortly. The Emirates Stadium in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. And that gets things running. Arsenal are still to get up and running after a defeat on the opening day. Now's the chance to launch their season. Jean Moutinho. Pepe. That's a terrific surge down the right. All driven towards the far. Up to meet it! No, oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Them, the defending, they've got to stop the cross. Alexis Sanchez. Al Mohamedi. Yedinak. Forward it goes. There's the ball, shakes the shoot. Superb goal! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus, but this game has already taken on a real attacking edge, and, and long may that continue. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Arsenal take the early advantage. Oh, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And that's been levered clear. Was on the back foot. Al Ghazi. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. That'll be a throw in. to the left and he showed a big chance Tierney tries to get it forward quickly and it's Sanchez oh Mohamedy oh good ball He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. He's left his man. And it's been taken straight back. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again.
better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Back into the middle. He's got a... has a shot! That is a great ball, but not a great finish. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Played it short. Towering header! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Dashing forward at pace. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. It's a brilliant interception. Floats one over, gets into some space, drilled in low. Jean Moutinho goes up and over. Pepe, Nick Steiner, Taylor, does well to read it and intercepts. Oh, he's hit the bar! Crunching tackle. Van Persie's delivery. Forward it goes. And it's Sanchez. And Percy looking to run onto it. And it's hoisted clear. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are. Off they go for half time the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half time lead. But I think the midfield can really. Out again for a throw in. But still, he just read it. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Decent progress down the left. Just whacks it away. Arsenal are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Chance to break. Gets it back. And it's got through. Going through. Chance. Has a swing at it. It's in. And with the match slipping away, they have hauled themselves off the canvas. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footed, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart.
So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, the big question now is whether they can keep the energy levels up and try and grab a winner. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Now it's Aubameyang. Turns and goes back, going for goal! very well to intervene look their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing Obama Yang Carroll Lichtsteiner is demanding it out wide And the referee brings it to a close. A very good game of football, no winner. But both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square. So what do you take away from it all? It only have been one winner, but ifs don't count in football. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.